Welcome to your Daily Mist. This week I received a comment on one of my video posts where I was talking about complacency. As you know, that's this week's theme. So if you haven't listened to our first two podcasts this week, make sure you do so. But in the comment section, they said complacency is weakness precursor. And I thought, interesting, complacency is weakness precursor? Essentially what they were saying was before the weakness or before the flaw you may be displaying, it came as a result of you being complacent. And, I, you know, we could probably lump that in so many other areas as well. We could say complacency is failure precursor or lack of achievement precursor, lack of consistency precursor, lack of growth, lack of improvement, lack of, I think you get the point. And the message is, is that becoming complacent, when that happens, before these results were mentioned, complacency is what's really caused it. You know, you show signs of complacency or let's say being overconfident, relaxed, or just straight dogged, there's going to be a consequence. So you have to check yourself to make sure if you fall into this trap, you don't stay in that trap and immediately make the adjustments to get out of it and get back on track as soon as possible. Because the longer you stay in the mindset of complacency, the harder it is to get out of it. Remember what we shared on one of our earlier podcasts, how you do anything is how you do everything. And this is really all about creating the right habits of success. I think I mentioned habit-based coaching. That's really what I'm sharing. So that you're displaying the right habits and no matter what the situation you're involved in. Because complacency could be that last hurdle you need to conquer to get what you really want. Have a great day and stay positive.